Hi guys, it's the hairy one here. How are you? Um, not, not showing any records today, just want to talk about a thing that's been happening. Uh, something that you need to be aware of when you're ordering records, particularly from overseas. Uh, look, a lot of records turn up in these kinds of things, and these are awesome because what normally happens is even through uh, the rough treatment that a lot of mail gets uh, at, during delivery, as you, you might have seen some video of people throwing packages from a plane into uh, into a big basket on the airstrip, uh, really nasty stuff going on, and things get busted. But these things tend to be fairly good, really good solid boxes. Your 12 inches and your 7 inches and everything come in really good order. This one came from Italy and no worries at all. But there's a company where you pledge music to an artist, and that should give you a clue who it was, and they use really awful packaging. And uh, something came to me today in that kind of stuff. That's all there was. There was a, a seven inch single inside sort of taped to a bit of cardboard and it was damaged. And I'm really sick of uh, supporting that site. I'm sorry to the artists that use it, but it is crap. Um, last time I went through there, there was a poster that was for our uh, from the inside of uh, Frankie Goes to Hollywood's first album, um, Welcome to the Pleasure Dome, and it was signed by the artist that did that. I think there was about limited to about 100 prints, and a lot of us decided we'd get that poster. And unfortunately, it was just chucked in a tube, and it was doomed to be destroyed before it got here. And I think we all paid a fair bit for it, and we all regretted buying it in the end. Um, I wouldn't buy from them again. I don't think it would be a very good idea at all. And I don't think it's a very good idea for the artists to, to use that site. Um, there are also other artist sites that uh, sort of um, deal with many different artists. And when you buy records from, uh, from those places, again, they're usually not wrapped up all that well. I think we should be aware, perhaps, of some of the uh, record shops out there that um, put records in really good packaging. I came across one the other day. It was in the Netherlands. Um, and they, they have uh, this really good packaging that looks like a pizza box. Um, they claim to have sort of developed it themselves or something. Um, I've ordered a record from them, and I'm hoping that it comes in... Uh, good packaging. If it does, thumbs up to them. Look, um, I, I'm just warning you that some of these sites, they just don't care about packaging. I had one from Germany through Amazon recently, and uh, the, it, it was just all in the same, it was just all sort of like this. It's just basically paper with a bit of bubble wrap inside. Um, be very cautious who you order from, especially if you have to order from overseas. And let's face it, we often do if we want that very limited edition record. You're just letting you all know that uh, these things are happening and just to beware. Okay? Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.